Good morning everyone, myself Vismay Tejasri GN, 9th standard government high school Jagru Dangari district. Today we are going to talk about advantages of solar energy. What is solar energy and what is the importance of sun? At first, uh, we want to know what is the importance of the sun. Sun is very very important for us, for the life on earth. And also, sun is also called the power plant of the sky because it gives us an enormous amount of heat and light. And next, earth would be a lifeless ball of ice without the sun's heat and light because we are alive because of only solar energy. Without it, earth would be a frosty ball of ice. And this statement reveals an exact importance of the sun. Before going to the topic, I want to tell you some advantages of this solar energy because it is so reliable, it has a lot of advantages. At first, it is the uh, cheapest source of energy, it is a re re reliable, renewable and sustainable source of energy. It is completely eco-friendly and doesn't uh, pollute and doesn't even emit carbon dioxide. It has a lot of domestic uses. It can be used in indoor lightning, indoor and outdoor lightnings, cooking of food, drying of clothes, drying of food items and uh, uh, other um, domestic uses. In large scale uses, it can be used to power the mechanisms and machines in industries to make them work. And it is most commonly used for charging batteries. And next, the working principle of this project is a solar tracker. Solar tracker is a mechanism or a machine which orients payload. What is a payload here? The solar panels, reflectors, lens are the payload which orients the payload towards the sun, which tracks the sun's location and turns the um, oh, payload towards it. This is called solar tracker. Because of its, uh, it keeps orientation with the sun, solar panels can achieve the maximum amount of energy possible. And what, at first we also want to know what is the working mechanism of solar panels. Solar panels are silicon plates. They are made up of silicon. When the sunlight from the sun, sun reaches earth, Sun, when the sunlight from sun reaches earth, it hits the solar panel. What happens in solar panel is the electrons of the silicon atom gets charged and excited and jumps or moves to another uh, silicon atom. So this produces enormous amount of energy. We can capture it using the solar tractor. Why solar tracker is more efficient this than the solar panels? Because they can keep up with the orientation of the sun. See, now this is a solar plate and this can only observe vertical energy. When sunlight gets slant, it achieves very less amount or very poor amount of electricity. So, solar tracker keeps up with the sun to get maximum amount of energy possible at first and the materials used we have used various amount of materials and working principles for this project at first we come here to the main circuit board of this model arduino uno and next solar panels for absorbing all the energy and solar um, servo motors for rotating the solar panel to track it and breadboards and few jumper cables and also we have used a special uh, ingredient in this the light dependent resistors these are commonly called as LDR which turns on the light and let me explain the working mechanism of our project what happens here is it, the here is my light dependent resistor what it does is gets the energy from the sun and uh, tells an electric signal to this jumper cables. This electrical sun, uh, signal comes through this jumper cables to a breadboard which sends a signal to Arduino Uno. Arduino Uno is the main circuit of this whole machine and also pre-programmed in C++ language with the use of laptop. This 
detects where the sunlight is coming from and it gives um, electrical signal to the servo motor which is connected with the solar panel over here and this arduino tells servo motor where to rotate and this servo motor rotates the uh, solar panel in the direction let's see the quick demo of its working here i have a um, power of source to power this arduino now see the solar panel started rotating which means we have received the signal from here here is a light dependent sensor and here is a torch which can be used as a sun example of a sun see when this light dependent sensor uh, when it is morning when the sunlight comes from east the solar panel is moving to the east which makes the uh, solar energy uh, getting solar energy super efficient and after when the sun is horizontally over over has this light dependent sensor gets the gets all the energy and rotates it horizontally towards the sun and at the evening this see the light is coming from here and this light dependent sensor senses and uh, tells it to rotate towards the west this uh, keeps makes the uh, solar energy uh, getting solar energy super efficient and after when the sun is horizontally over over has this light dependent sensor gets the gets all the energy and rotates it horizontally towards the sun and at the evening this see the light is coming from here and this light dependent sensor senses and uh, tells it to rotate towards the west this uh, keep uh, keeps going every day and gets the utilizes the maximum amount of energy possible so solar trackers have a over advantages over its stationary counterparts let's talk about at last the advantages of solar trackers we have already talked about advantages of solar energy now let's talk about the advantages of solar trackers these are more efficient uh, less uh, cost maintenance than their stationary counterparts because stationary counterparts never move wasting a large amount of energy and what type of weather and climate is in that place and these are more efficient than its stationary counterparts so solar trackers have a lot absorb a lot of energy while keeping up with the orientation of the sun thank you